Hey everybody, welcome to another day, which is actually the first day of music history at home. We're going to be looking at a bunch of composers and we're going to be having fun with them, looking into their life, looking into their music, looking into the complexities of who they were and how that influenced their music. So, welcome and let's get straight into it. Today we're going to be looking at our Norwegian composer, a guy called Edvard the Grieg, Edvard with a V. He was born in 1843, meaning he fell into which era? The Romantic Era. So we need to emphasize two points that we looked at when we were looking at the Romantic Era. The first one is the Romantic Era really tried to emphasize a specific mood in the music. So if it was a happy piece, they really tried to encapsulate it with through the multitude of instruments and by really emphasizing the loudness and softness of pieces. The same thing if the music was sad. The second point was that they, you would find a few romantic composers, not a few, quite a few, <laughs> quite a few, not a few, but quite a few romantic composers that wanted to emphasize the nationalistic points of the music. So they were very patriotic and they really wanted to encapsulate the nation and pay homage towards their country. So it's kind of like you'd find a few composers having their national anthems being composed during that era. And yeah, very passionate about it. So, major emphasis on the mood of the music, point number one. And point number two, they really wanted to grasp the patriotic element, their patriotism towards the country. So, that, that really falls in the Romantic era. So, let's look at Edward Grieg. At the age of nine, he started off by saying, Let me out into the world so that people may hear me. He didn't want to be left inside. He knew that he had something to share with the world, specifically through music. Some of you might want to share through your words, some of you through your art, some of you through the things that you create. But he started at the age of nine, and it's never too late. You can start now. So, he was Norwegian, but we start off when he went to Copenhagen. And which country is Copenhagen in? If you have said Denmark, then that's the correct answer. Copenhagen is the capital of Denmark. So we're going to be looking specifically within the Scandinavian region. So that's Sweden, Denmark, Norway, Finland, Iceland. Just keep those in mind. You never know when they might help you. So, he started composing music at the age of nine. And later on in his life, he went to Copenhagen to live with his relatives. And this would be a life-changing experience. What was supposed to be just a short visitation towards his relatives turned out to be quite a few mornings of the Danish, or what do you call them, Danish croissants in the morning. A Danish, you can ask your parents to get you one for during this time. So, in Denmark, this is where he met his wife, Nina Hagerup. She was a concert vocalist and a successful musician. So, naturally, they had a connection and they admired each other but something a bit strange she was his cousin but back in the day that was not an off thing that would happen quite frequently you'd see a lot of people marrying close relatives just to keep the blood within the family specifically amongst the royals he was not a royal but he followed in that in that way so it might seem a bit weird but it wasn't weird back then so that's the first point the second point was in Denmark he had a major burst of creativity which led to one of his most famous works, and I'm sure you've heard it before, it's a piano concerto in A minor. It's actually the only piano concerto he ever did. Maybe it's because it was so good he didn't need to do another one. So he composed it at the age of 24, and he did it one year after getting married. Yeah. Some people say that this piece was so intense, there was actually one performer who got a brain hemorrhage. He died right after performing it. And that's a true story. So, go, go check it out. It will be in the folder of mm, Edward Grieg music pieces. Go listen to it and tune back in to part two. 